Boom. Here we go. <laughs> Freestyling this shit, baby. It's the only way I know to do it. So, this is an attempt to document my recovery process. I've been struggling with fentanyl for, you know, a few months now. I've tried the suboxone thing, going to the... Me, personally, I feel like that just prolongs the, the shit. You know, the goal here is to just get clean, right? So... I want to get clean. I don't want to have to later switch to Suboxone and then have to worry about getting clean off of that. I'm sick of being dependent on, you know, drugs. So, basically, I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to document my, you know, getting clean experience. And I want to help other people. I want to show people it can be done. And I've, I've been through this before, so I kind of know what to expect. But I want to start off by telling people that that's the number one thing, in my personal opinion, that will help you in recovery, is you need to be mentally prepared for what's about to come. For what You need to be mentally prepared for what the fuck you're about to go through, because this shit is not going to be easy. <laughs> Pause. If you smoke cigarettes or you vape or whatever, it'll probably help, you know, calm your nerves a little bit when you're going through this shit. But, you know, nothing's going to help. That's the part that sucks about drug addiction is when you've built a dependency on heroin or whatever, you know, opiates, basically. The only way to really get clean is to go through the, the pain of it. That's why so many people struggle with, you know, people go 10 years without getting clean. It's sad. And one thing, I, I don't want to be one of those people that, that, that sticks on something for 10 years. You know, God, that's so brutal. And I feel so sorry for people like that. And I wish them all the best. And really is a, re a big reason I want to document my experience. I want to motivate people. Man, this is a, this shit is the devil, man. I, I don't want to see anybody go through what I'm going through. You're going to lose relationships. You're going to spend all kinds of money. You're, going, you're not going to get anywhere in life. All your dreams and aspirations are going to die. Um, I'm actually high right now. Not high, but you know, I have, I have enough in my system to where I'm not withdrawing. I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not feeling any kind of pain right now. That's going to change tomorrow, which I'm going to make another video. I'm going to make a video every day experiencing, you know, what I'm going through and explaining it. But tomorrow is more than likely going to be a different story. I'm going to be in a little bit of pain. And y'all are going to get to experience that with me. You're going to, or not experience it, but watch it anyways. And I'm going to, I'm going to let y'all know, man, this can be done. I'm going to show y'all this can be done. I'm going to get clean. Then I'm going to stay clean. And then, you know, after that, I might try to make a channel out of this, you know. I might try to build a YouTube channel about my life and just document my life because I got goals too. You know, everybody should have goals. You should have goals. If you're a drug addict, don't think just because you're addicted to drugs, you're a fucking loser. You might be a loser right now. But anything, can, you, you can change that. You don't have to stay a loser. You can change that. You can build and get better and better and build a business, which is something I want to do. I actually want to build a business. Um, I just recently lost my job, and it was a, it was drug-related. The reason I lost my job, I went to jail. Um, but, you know, we'll talk about that later on down the right line. I wanted this video to mainly be about getting clean and my experience with it and how long it's going to take me to actually start feeling better. I believe, I think after I make it past seven days, that first week, I'm not saying I'm going to be fully withdrawn or whatever, but you make it past that first week, you pretty much got it beat, but that first week is going to be hell. You're going to, in my situation, I've got the money. I can call my dealer right up 
and fix my sickness just like that. I can fix it. I can get over it. But guess what? I didn't really fix anything. I'm still addicted to drugs. The, you know, the goal is to get off drugs. The goal is to withdraw and become clean and not have to worry about drugs again. You know, it's a huge inconvenience in your life. Huge. I don't wish it on anybody. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. But uh, yeah, guys, um, this is day one to my recovery. I'm not feeling like shit right now. This time tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to. I'm definitely going to be feeling like shit. I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, yeah. And I'm having to work. I'm having. I, I'm, I'm going through this working a, a pretty physical job as well. Um, that's going to suck. But in a way, I, I think it helps, but it sucks too. Because you want to be able to kind of lay in bed and just be sick. But when you're out moving around working, you're sweating and the shit, you're probably, I'm probably actually going to get it out of my system a lot faster than if I was just laying on the bed. Because I'm going to be at work drinking as much water as I can, flushing my system out. It's going to speed the process up. It's going to suck, but it's going to speed the process up, which is going to help me in the long run. Uh, let's just hope I don't lose my damn job over this. I just got this job. It's not the best job in the world, but it's a job. I'm able to pay my bills. But I'm doing this. I'm going to go through it. And, uh, yeah, we're doing this, guys. We're doing this. You know, um, like, comment, subscribe, because there's going to be a lot more videos in the future. Like I said, I plan on starting a business within the next year. But in order for me to do anything, man, I got to get clean. I can't be running around high all the time. That's just not going to be productive. I'm not going to be able to get anything done like that. Um, but yeah, let's get this going, man. Let's start this YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to ask me any questions, comment. Drop down in the comment section. You know, we can chop it up. We can shoot the breeze, you know. Um, if you're going through something similar, shit, man, ride along with me. Let's do this. You can do it. And I can do it. We can do this. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. This is just the first video of many to come. I will let you know how I'm feeling tomorrow. Peace out.